Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So it looks like little Uzi Vert is finally speaking up. On the whole, I make a city girl believe in Satan lyric that went viral at Rolling Loud. So it's been a lot of drama going on over the past week or so with all the events that took place at Rolling Loud. I had talked about some of it on my live stream. We had Playboy Cardi out there just looking crazy and screaming and hollering and, you know, all types of, you know, dark forces. I guess we're entering people. People was, you know, stoned out their mind. There was some Christian girl. I'm not sure how she even ended up here, but um, she got scared and said the set was demonic and ran off. So then little Uzi Vert gets on stage, and it was just dark vibes. I mean, his outfit was an ode to Lucifer. He had Baphomet on his clothing, and then he said that infamous line. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the video right here. All right, so you guys just heard that clip of him saying that he makes a city girl believe in Satan. And as we all know, his favorite city girl is Miss JT, okay? And a lot of people were upset about this. They felt like, you know, this is not cool. You know, how can JT support this? One, that's her, you know, that's her man. Like this that. is your man. Yes. Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. She's been with him for a long time now. But I'm the type of person I feel like this. You know, who you're with says a lot about you. And, you know, birds of a feather flock together. And why everybody wants to act like JT is so above this. And that's just little Uzi being a weirdo. Some of the pictures that JT has posted online, Uzi's right behind her throwing up the all C and I. He's right behind her throwing up the devil horns, and she seems to be okay with it. So, again, I don't know why people are trying to act like she's like this huge Christian and she would never be fine with this. And he clearly said in the interview with TMZ that she knew about the lyrics, she knew about the song, and that she was fine with it. What's up, my guy? Hi. How are you, man? I'm doing good. Yeah, when are we getting pink tape, bro? Uh, I'm going to drop it. Um... Like, like, I probably got like two more months. Two more months? Yes. That's dope, man. Hey, is that Satan song you, you previewed at Rolling Loud? Is that going to be on it? Yeah. That's going to be on it? Yeah. That's dope, man. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what do you mean by that lyric, man? You make a city girl believe in Satan. What do you mean um, by that? Not, not actually Satan, but just basically I make a girl do whatever I say so. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Well, what did JT think of those lyrics? Um, she really didn't. She really didn't think too much of it. She was there when she heard me make the song. She know what I, she know like what I really mean. So it's not really about Satan. No. It's just like you make it make anyone believe in anything. Yeah. Ah, uh, gotcha. What do you think of people sort of some people saying like you know invoking Satan? You know, not cool, that sort of stuff. What do you think about that? Um, I don't know. Um, I, I really don't even pay attention to them even saying that because um, I just I just say whatever I want in my songs. It's just like my, my freedom of speech. I come from a real religious household, but I just like me finally living my life and being like, I guess, a adult. I actually kind of just say like, you know, anything I want to say and, you know, I don't, even if I offend people, I don't mean to offend people, but, you know, if they don't like it, they have the option to turn it off. I like that, man. So you think they need to chill a little bit? Um, yeah, they, they, they probably need to just chill. I think a lot of people need to wake up and realize that things are a lot darker in the industry than they realize. And Uzi has been this way for a long time. Even when you say his name, little Uzi Vert, it literally turns to Lucifer. If you say it fast enough. So his whole persona from the time he's come out has always been an ode to Lucifer. Let's not forget his favorite person that he looks up to, his mentor, his favorite person besides JT is Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson is an open Satanist. Manson posted onto IG a photo of Uzi holding a custom icy Ben Baller chain model after his image. He captioned the post, Lucifer Rising. Uzi liked the post in addition to commenting with a fire emoji. Marilyn Manson's upcoming Heaven Upside Down album and tour also appears to hint the meaning of Lil Uzi vs. Upside Down Cross. Uzi expresses love for Marilyn Manson during an interview with Nardwar. 
It's my father, the Pale Emperor. Listen here. At age 27, I will leave this earth for this man right here. He's the Pale Emperor. Manson explains Satanism in an old interview. In America, Satanism is... Uh sensationalized and kind of misunderstood and people associate it with worshiping the devil and things like that but it's really a philosophy about uh, individuality and self-preservation it's about uh, you know being your own god that's why i was saying i didn't understand if kanye has turned a new leaf and he's such a, a big christian why you you can't serve two masters you can't be out here talking about christianity and the bible and having a choir on set and then you bring out marilyn manson it doesn't work that way because you'll never see the church of satan bring out a, a christian pastor that's stupid only in hip-hop do we sit here and make excuses for nonsense you know what i'm saying so you know he's saying that he grew up in a religious home and he's just being funny it's all tongue-in-cheek but i don't think it's tongue-in-cheek and if you really grew up in a religious home, you wouldn't even dabble around with this. You wouldn't even play around with this. You wouldn't try to indoctrinate your young fans into this as if it's normal. Let's not forget, he was one of the performers at the Kids' Choice Awards. We talked about this on Discord the other day. And the thing to me with the Kids' Choice Awards that I never understand is, where are all the small children performers? Where's the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14-year-old performers? There are none. It's a bunch of adults singing to a bunch of children. And the outfit that he wore to the Kids' Choice Awards was very interesting. He was dressed like a little demon. He had the, you know, the pointy hair. But if you look closely at his outfit, his outfit was singed. It was literally burnt, almost like he just came from hell. You know, so that spoke a lot when I looked at his outfit. So, you know, like I said, I, I want to, in a way, like Uzi, he seems like a sweet little kid. Um, he seems kind of childlike in a way, and you know, again, uh, the devil is a deceiver. Yo, <laughs> what's poppin'? It's good, bro. What's up, bro? What's school? Yeah. yeah. What school y'all go to? Southwest. Southwest. For real? Yeah. yeah. It's only my third day out here. I don't Damn. Know. Yo, <laughs> yo I don't know. shit, man. So he gives off this vibe that he's very childlike and sweet. You know, even with his little sheepish grin, you know, when they asked him that question, well, do you believe in Satan? He, and he, you know, he gave that little grin like, no. Um, it's something about his energy that tries to come off as very innocent and childlike. But the things that he really promotes and sings about is really dark. Hold on, let me explain something to them real quick. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers enter the rapture and if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell right with me so let's get it oh you already here i'm so sorry you can't get out you're stuck it's over you heard the song a million times and you didn't even know that's up but i still love you you know, just some, not all his music, but some of this stuff tends to go more towards the dark side. And I just don't like it. I'm not feeling it. But again, to each his own, people are going to support and listen to who they want to listen to. But um, I just find it very interesting that I saw a lot of people trying to defend JT and saying that, well, JT would never agree to this. And he's basically saying his girlfriend agreed to it and she's cool with it. You know, so... Um, shout out to all the city girls that now support Satan. I was never a city girl, so I could care less. <laughs> so with that being said, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning little Uzi and JT and what little Uzi had to say about that line going viral all over social media. Do you believe that Uzi is not being honest and that he's definitely involved in the occult and in a lot of darker stuff? Um, you know, him and a lot of these artists, I mean, this has been talked about for years. And do you feel like he's trying to downplay it because of some of the backlash that he's receiving? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Feel free to leave a comment. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you still subscribe and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.